Hey there guys, this is Gage Brown here from the Gage Brown YouTube channel and car reviewer of Gage Car Reviews. Um, today is June 12th. Um, I last made a video about Finto's birthday um, from the from Finto from the Rod Fellows. So right now I am working on this computer to to go from Windows Server 2003 to Windows XP this time because um, I decided to do some, an operating system switch um, so I can use while I am waiting for the the USB CD driver for the Dell Dimension 3000 project I'm going to be doing on so that's why I'm going to be doing this so um, once I get it all set up um, I might install some other um, softwares so right now the operating system I'm going to be installing is Windows XP Professional um, I wanted this to to reinstall this op the original operating system that you used to have um, back in the past um, before Windows Server 2003 so um, it's going to take like um, a couple of um, couple of minutes so um, right now I am actually so after that um, I'm not going to be using the Dell um, power tool softwares um, for a reason because um, this computer is an Asus. Um, I might actually install some others. Um, I got Microsoft Plus for Windows XP. And I also got the Pop Cap and Game House. I also have um, Microsoft Office Professional um, with Microsoft Out Office Outlook 2003. The Microsoft Office Enterprise Edition Service Pack 1, the, the Desktop Dino. Um, Alright, so we're going to actually delete this off. Um, Alright, so now I've switched it out, moved Server 2003. We also got Microsoft Office Enterprise Edition 2003 and Visual Studio 2005 Standard Edition. So these are going to be the softwares that I might install on this computer. So it's going to take like um, a couple of um, minutes or hours um, if it depends on what kind of computer it is. But it's going to take like some time. So um, right now it's setting up some copy files. Um, well, we don't need this because I got another one that is on on this um, drive. So right now it's going to take like um, a couple of minutes or a couple of hours. So um, I'll get back to you um, very shortly. So I'll be right back for a moment. So stay tuned. All right. So once it's um, done, um, right now I'm really... Now it's done installing some setup files from the installation. Now we're gonna just um, wait until the setup finally loads. So once we get that, um, we'll get the the data and some stuff ready for the installation. Right now, um, it's gonna take like a couple of seconds. There it is. There's the there's the Windows XP setup system. It says Windows XP Professional sports a visual design that combines a sleek look, clean lines, and appealing colors with a task-oriented design and expectationally streamlined navigation. Meaning that it introduces some new features and some new equip new software that has been made when Windows XP was first introduced to the public in 2001. It really changed the whole business and services, even schools and homes with this operating system because it was becoming popular once Windows XP was released into retail. People were storing, storming out to the, to the computer stores and install it on their computers or bought the computers that came in with Windows XP. So, um, like right now, um, it's going to take like a couple of minutes to load up, so I'm going to be right back once it it sets up. And speaking of which, the installation devices is now beginning to load up, which is going to be like 37 minutes. So right now, um, I'm not sure what time it is, but I'm just going to have to stay like it was like 
6 to 7 p.m. in the night so but I'm actually gonna be staying up working on this computer with some installations on somewhat and I also got after this I might install Microsoft Plus for Windows XP unfortunately one of the 3d games except the the Russian block game is going to be available but these other 3D's is not going to be compatible with this computer since it doesn't have the 3D drivers however I also got some more games to install which is PopCap Games and Game House with Microsoft Office 2003 and Visual Studio 2005 which makes it into a like, personal fun into a personal computer um, this is going to be the, the computer I'm going to be switching out the Dell um, Inspiron in in my room with this along with the the Acer monitor and the keyboard and the mouse so pretty unique that um, I might just get a new computer to switch out and um, and I might try to um, save the other one just in case if this computer doesn't fit well with me but mostly it will actually will since it doesn't have like too much software on there so right now it is um, set up so let me enter the name on there and um, We also got the computer name and the mission administrator password. We're not going to fill that in. Um, we're going to actually name it to Asus XP 2020-1. So, and today is June 12th, 2020, and it is 9 p.m., so we're going to click on that and and it is now installing the network which I don't have the net, network system on there. Excuse me. Um So once it's um go to like the next after the next step up coming to this um system um I might try to um pause the video until the um Right, right now it is um, 31 minutes for the uh, 30 minutes. Now it's gonna copy files. Um, all right then, so I'll leave you to um, another part after this. So, um, so stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next part. So setup is now done. Now we're gonna start off with the with the basics. It says thank you for purchasing Windows XP. Let's spend a few minutes setting up on the computer so we're gonna get rid of the help information because we don't need something um, we're not gonna protect the PC right now um, we're gonna set up my name there there it is there's my name the gauge we're in the next up and it says thank you congratulations you're ready to go to learn about the exciting new features of Windows XP take the product tour you can also find useful information in the help and support center which is located in the start menu so we're gonna um all right look at this it's all set and it's ready to go so that means the, the setup project is not done yet because we got some other softwares to install so we're gonna actually begin setting up the The screen system. Um, let's try that. See if it works. And we're gonna see if it what reaches up to the maximum. Um, so. So we're going to just leave it like that. So pretty works. 
and I see that it is well, well made. And it also includes the icon of a flower, which I might change it into a picture of me. So we're going to actually get the desktop set up. We don't need desktop cleanup because it will be nice and neat. And we're going to put Windows Internet Explorer up there. So I'll be back with the desktop icon shortcuts set up. So hang on for a moment. All right, so all the software is all set up. I also include um, Internet Explorer 6, Outlook Express 6, MSN, Windows Media Player 9, Windows Messenger, the Windows XP Tor, Windows Movie Maker 2.6, File and C, Settings Transfer, got the Solitaire, the Minesweeper, and the Pinball. And um, so right now we're going to eject the disk out. And strange of all, when I after it turns on, it doesn't appear to have the Windows XP boot loading screen on there, which is very weird. But but the desktop works 100%. So I'm going to um, install some more software, including the Microsoft Plus, Office 2003, and Visual Studio 2005, and some couple of PopCap games and GameHouse games too. So. Right now we got Microsoft Plus, um, got Microsoft Plus from for Windows XP. This is the first software I'm going to be installing on this computer, and we're going to close that. And now we got to load up the Microsoft Plus. which it's going to take like a couple of seconds or minutes to load oh, okay so some of the features things will be installed and visualization is not going to be installed so we're going to continue with the installation because like I said in the mention from a couple of parts um, it says that um, it's not going to be compatible with the video card so I'm going to try to um, work on that later um, to see what kind of video card I am running so if I found out the model of it so I might find a software to install it on this computer but it, it'll, it'll work out so mostly so I'll get back to you after Microsoft Plus is installed has been completed so stay tuned alright so Windows XP Microsoft Plus is all done so we're gonna finish up to see the features of it and here it is childhood is officially found again so Microsoft Plus um, version 1.0 for Windows XP brings me a lot a lot of memories so it also has the 3d visualizations um, it also includes games the Microsoft hyper got the hyper bowl plus and Labyrinth plus the Russian square plus one of my favorite games it also includes the themes of Microsoft Plus, which is the aquarium, the space, nature, and Da Vinci. It also includes some screen savers, which all of them is not installed due to the video card not recognized. So right now I'm going to be back with some more software installations. So I'll see you guys in the next part. So after three days of software, software installing, operating system installing, and programs installing. This computer is now um, ready for use. Um, I've also um, finished installing all games, even Microsoft Plus, Office 2003, and Visual Studio 2005. Now I'm going to test it out to see if it works. I also um, close the same monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse. Here's the boot up screen. And here is the Windows XP boot screen. Very nice. And after the boot screen, it takes, uh, takes me up to the login screen. Hmm. 
which it might take like a couple of seconds to load up and we're gonna log in um, it doesn't have the startup sound because this computer does not include the sound card but not also it doesn't also include the graphics card as well so here it is um, all the softwares has been installed from the internet from the pre-installed XP software Microsoft Plus Office 2003 Dino 2000 Microsoft Visual Studio 2005 PopCap Games Game House WinRAR VLC Media Player 7-Zip Mozilla Firefox um, Microsoft Student and others and other games even the Hipsoft so now we're gonna see um, here's the Windows XP um, system properties now we go to WinRAR and it takes up to the build and information um, and speaking of which um, the hard drive on the local disk has actually has the capacity of 150 gigabytes of storage which 12.7 gigabytes were used for softwares but it was really cool like I'm it was really good that um, I might use it for for like it's in case if I get bored like I might play games on one of the one on on this computer or maybe I can play or use um, office softwares well typically well the problem is that one some of the softwares can't load well um, like Windows Movie Maker um, you get this it says Windows Movie Maker cannot be used because the required audio hardware cannot be found onto the computer so like I said this computer does not have a sound card in there but that's not only that happened so if you could go to Gutterball 2 um, when it loads up let me show you the problem on the games on the on the game like if you try um, the retro lanes works but if you try this um, you get this you are using a software render go to ball 2 will not run so it, not only that it the same thing for this and even this and and this the only um, it works and I think it's not doing well because it doesn't have the 3D video card so I think Gutterball 2 doesn't work but it still works but it's not letting you play the game but it's not only the software the game that doesn't work there's Bejeweled 2 if I play Bejeweled 2 and go to the options and click on the hardware accelerate you get this the video card is missing so the only couple of things that I'm missing is the video card and the sound card in there but everything else runs good but it might take a lot of work on getting the sound card and the video card which cost a lot of money for this um, project so anyway so this is um the the Asus computer that I've been working on and um, and the third problem um, after the video card and sound card is missing is the internet so the internet when I load up Internet Explorer um, you get this error but if, you, if I try to go on google.com you get this error too but it doesn't support anymore but if you try Mozilla Firefox, um, this is the only um, Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox is on this um, only on the computer, but doesn't have Google Chrome. So if I tried on Google.com again, you get this error: it says "server not found." So the only three things that is missing on this computer is the internet support, 
video card and the sound card these are the three devices is missing for this computer but everything else is good even for for the operating system the hard drive the ram it's very good the processors well too so all right guys so this is the project finish for the asus um, reinstall of windows xp professional service pack 3 so i guess that's it for this video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe